started to use Blackboard and discussions and I started to come up with, you know, grading rubrics for critical thought and the, the course, the, the average exam score in the class skyrocketed over time because the students were engaging the content now. They were debating and talking to each other. Now they do that anyway outside the classroom, but you don't see what's going on. So this was a way for them to do it. I have a rubric where you know they can see how they can get an A on a discussion board um, if they, in addition to doing the, the research tasks and doing their own posts, if they comment on other people's posts, then that boosts their grade. So I just you know encourage them. I know that other people have a set model where they say, okay, you have to post X number of times, and then you have to respond to someone else's post two times. So they actually struggle. Uh, structure it so that the students are required to respond to one another. I, I leave it up to them how much they want to respond, but obviously I encourage re responses. I also respond to them as much as I can myself. As long as I don't wait until the very last minute, as many of them do, to you know get all of their posts in before the deadline for the discussion board, then I can actually respond individually to each person as I would in a face-to-face -face course you know, where you always want to, you know, acknowledge someone's comment. If, so, so I respond to them, and I hope that that sets an example of how they should respond to one another. What I find from my online students is I get much better um, content um, and response in the discussions than my face-to-face -face class. And the reason is that the, um, the discussions are very well-structured. Um, they have to make their first response by Thursday. The module opens on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. And they have to make their first response by Thursday at 10 p.m., um, adding meaningful content. And then they have to make three, three responses um, by Sunday. Um, and that also has to have meaningful content. They have to bring links in and um, articles uh, to support what they're saying. And then on the final day, on Monday, they have to write a conclusion. And they have to be in the discussion three days. Where the face-to-face -face class, you have students who just sit there and never say anything. And, and, and there are students in the, in the online class who don't do discussions. And you know, by module three, I write them and I tell them I'm concerned that they're not going to pass the class. Um, but in the online class, they're actually, they know what they have to do. I mean, it's right there. And so they know that if they don't do it, they're going to not get credit. In the face-to-face -face class, I, I walk in and I say, okay, discussion's 30% of your grade, you know, and, and I sit and I, we start a discussion and I look around and there are students who never say anything. In uh, the discussion forums, you know, where you participate, uh, you, you interact with students, I found that instead of just asking them a question, I give them something to do. You know, um, I give them a research task that is, you know, just a single step. Um, and so that they are commenting on what they've done uh, on their own research. Because the goal in a lot of our courses is to build research skills and, and um, competent um, online research skills so that they are aware of you know, using reliable sources and so on. So I think giving them something to do as opposed to just an open question works, or at least it has for me. I think it's fun to uh, view other people's ideas. I try not to determine whether it's right or wrong. I just want to make sure that they're understanding the theory that's being presented in the textbook or the concepts I'm trying to get across mm -hmm. so they can apply it to whatever real world situation it is. And so. Again, most of my students are adult returning students mm -hmm. who have workplace experience, and so they're sharing this theory and their real world application and how it does work, how it does not work, the good experiences, the bad experiences, and I, 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 I enjoy seeing that, I enjoy reading about it and how people share and learn from each other.